So do you think that South Yorkshire Housing Association and other associations are doing enough for black, Asian and minority ethnic people? Um, and in particular, are we doing enough to support people with no access to public funds? So um, the latter first then, so people with no recourse to public funds, that's the most difficult of the nine commitments in Homes for Cathy because um, people haven't got any money, they can't, can't pay the rent. Um, so I think we're just starting, as housing associations, as SYHA as well, we're just starting to realise that we have to do something about that. That we understand it doesn't stack up financially, we understand it gives us a headache um, in terms of the financial viability of that particular house flat um, but we have to do something about it because um, people with no recourse to public funds is such a such a uh, uh, an intrinsic part of of rough sleeping um, so we've got to have a have a go at it in terms of BAME um, groups and homelessness um, there's some there's some fantastic stuff that's going on there's a lot of really good voluntary effort that's going on in the voluntary sector uh, a lot of housing organizations are tuned in now to the issues that are there are we doing enough collectively absolutely not we're not um, we're, we're not in relation to the whole um, gamut of of housing uh, housing services um, we have um, allowed uh, unknown to ourselves very often I think we have allowed um, indirect unintentional discrimination to become hardwired into our services and service design and I think Black Lives Matter has been terrific in terms of making all of us think again about what we're doing and whether it's been good enough and it's not good enough it's absolutely not good enough.